Welcome everyone. In this lesson, we are just going to be setting up our Unity project here. Uh, before we jump into scripting, we'll be setting up our scene, we'll be setting up all the assets we need, as well as setting up the hierarchy and just getting our project basically built, uh, ready for the scripts that we're going to make uh, further on in this course. So, first of all, what we want to do is open up a brand new Unity project. Uh, here I am in mine right here. And what we're going to do first of all is make sure that we are running uh, basically virtual reality because if you do have a hand track controller um, VR headset for this one, you can actually uh, test it out inside the editor, which is what we're going to do for this course. And to actually make sure that this project, to make sure that Unity knows that this project is indeed a virtual reality project, we want to basically tell them that. So let's go up to Edit, Project Settings, and then in here, let's go Player. And then under the XR settings tab here, what we want to do is just enable virtual reality supported. There we go. And as you can see, this information here popped up. Uh, should be all good. We can now exit out of this window. And something else we need as well is a Unity package. And that is going to be the XR legacy input helpers. Now, what this is, um, it is a component that basically can access the position, the rotation, and other information from uh, either the headset, the controllers, Basically, any sort of XR device, um, these components can access that information and translate that to movement inside of Unity. So, let's go Window, Package Manager, and inside the Package Manager here, we'll just wait for uh, all the packages to load up. Now, the thing about the XR Legacy Input Helpers, which is here at the bottom, is that this is um, not really supported by Unity anymore. They are going to have a uh, newer version of this coming out in the future, but for now, this is what we're going to be using, so let's just install this here. And when that's installed, we can just exit out of this window here. And now we can begin to import the assets we need, okay? Um, so first of all, what we're going to be doing is importing our model. Now, we are going to use a uh, model hand. You can really use whatever sort of hand model you want, but for us, we are just going to use a robot claw. So here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this one our models. Oops, you rename this folder here. And of course, when our models and all of these assets that I'm going to be creating now are uh, can be found uh, in the included course pro course files, which you can download, or you can go into the Zenva VR GitHub uh, repo link, which will be down in the lesson summaries, and that will give you uh, the entire Zenva VR library uh, for you to use. And inside of this folder, I'm going to be importing our models and our model and texture for the Robo Claw right here. Okay, so we got that all set up. Now what we need to do is start to actually build our scene because our scene right now, there's nothing in it and we need to get some basic stuff set up such as a floor, maybe a surface, maybe some objects we can then grab and then we also need to make our rig which is going to be the actual player and your hands. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first of all delete the main camera. Actually no, we're going to leave the main camera here. Instead I'm going to create a new 3D object plane. I'm going to actually create then a new folder in here called materials. Actually, no, oops. I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a new folder here called materials, not create a new material. So I'm going to call this folder here materials. And inside this folder, let's create a brand new material. And this material here is going to be called the ground. We can drag this on here, smooth this to zero, and we can give it a, oops, we can give it a albedo color of let's just make it a we'll just make it a sort of dark blue like that there we go let's rename this plane here to ground and now what we can do is actually start to set up our XR rig um, what this is going to be is basically a container of various different objects that is going to build up our VR player so here I'm going to right click create empty I'm going to call this one here our XR rig oops XR rig now we want to keep this uh, XR rig here at zero on the Y axis. We want to keep this on the surface of whatever ground we're on because uh, when we actually boot up into VR, once this game loads up, what it's going to do is it's going to, uh, the headset is already going to know how high off the ground you are and then it's going to automatically add that height on top. So what we also then want to do as a child of XR rig, create another empty object and this here is going to be the floor offset. Now, what the floor offset is, is basically an object that can uh, be used in two circumstances. 
uh, because since there are two types of VR experiences, one where you are stationary and one where you are basically room scale, where you can move around in 3D space, we want to basically accommodate for both of those. We want to be able to have a set height for a player if they're in a stationary experience, which will be added on top of this at the start of the game. Otherwise, if it is a room scale experience, then the actual this floor offset will just remain where it is and the camera will get a different Y position based on what the headset gives it. So, as a child of this floor offset, let's drag in the main camera. I'm going to rename this one here to head. And on this main camera, what we want to do is actually add a component. And we want to add in the tracked, oops, we want to add in the tracked pose driver right here. And this is the component I was talking about before. This is the component that will actually uh, allow us to get information from the headset, get its position, its rotation, its movement, and then translate that over to this real camera inside of Unity. And after this, what we also want to do is center up the camera as well. So let's set the set camera's position to zero, 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 so it's nice in the center here. And now also what we want to do then is add in our hands, okay? So as a child of floor offset, let's create a new empty object here. Let's rename this one here to our left hand. And as a child of this, I'm going to create a new empty object. I'm going to call this one our robo hand. Whoops, robo hand. And as a child of this robo hand, we are going to drag in the robo claw model. Uh, it's it's very large at the moment, so let's actually set this scale here to 0.03. There we go, a bit more reasonable size there. Uh, we can also then drag on the material. I'm just going to drag on this material. Oops. I am just going to drag on this material here and set the albedo texture to be this robo claw here. There we go, got that textured. And with its rotation, we don't want this facing up, because if we look at our left hand here, you'll see that the blue axis is facing uh, this direction. This is the forward direction. This is the direction that your hand will be pointing when you're holding it, uh, when you're holding your controller. So we want this robo claw to be facing along the blue axis, the forward direction. So we're going to get our robo claw here, and we're just going to rotate it 90 on the x axis like that. And there we go. That's basically it for the left hand here. Um, we do also need to attach a uh, track pose driver to this as well, since this is another uh, XR device that we want to be tracked. So we'll add that there. And this time we are going to change the device to X, generic XR controller. And the pose source is going to be the left controller as well. There we go. Got that all set up. Now to do the right hand, we can just actually uh, just duplicate the left hand here, so we'll duplicate that, and here we'll just go right hand, and all we need to do is change the post source from left controller to right controller, and there we go, that is pretty much it, that is our XR rig set up and ready to go, now if you do have your headset plugged into your computer and set up, what we can do is actually test this out and basically see if it works. So here we are, and as you can see, it works, but there are a few issues uh, that we're going to be addressing later. So there we go, we got it actually working, we can test that inside of the editor now. And what we're going to do in the next lesson is fix a few bugs, you did see that the uh, the claws did so kind of disappear when they got close to our face, that is due to um, the clipping plane being uh, not uh, close enough to our face. And we'll fix a few other things as well, such as actually getting uh, our height added on top of our initial position. So, I'll see you all then in the next lesson.